Hello everyone and welcome to another modern video with uh, the decks that uh, the deck of the weekend that I chose and that was the Rakdos playing. This deck came second on Sunday in the challenge and uh, it's quite spicy. Um, I've already played this deck for a video. At this point it must have been some weeks ago and I actually 5-0'd with this. Um, so. The list uh, from then, it's a little bit different though, because back then I was playing 4 Nagmalis as well as 4 Fang Death, which is basically the same of this card, and I wasn't playing any copy of Malachi Rebirth, whereas the list that Yandingo played to came second on Sunday only has uh, Undying Malice and Malachi Rebirth, so it's playing 22 lands, but 5 of them are actually spell lands, that you can pitch to your Fury or your Grief. This deck also has 3 Spyro and 2 Fable, so it has uh, that way of uh, just, yeah, preventing the uh, the, the, the flood. Uh, you also have Blood Moon in the mix, uh, plenty of fetches as well as 3 Swamps. Terminate, Liliana, your way to deal with Merkta Regent, and then you got some some mid-range creatures in the form of Doty Void Walker, as well as, of course, the turn 1 Ragavan that you can back up by Undying Malice. On the cyber there's Turak. Turak is a very powerful card against 4-color, blue-white control decks like this. Whenever you play Rakdos, you always wonder why I'm not playing Blue-Red Merktide, in my opinion. That's always been the thing since the Rakdos Rock by Aspiring Spike. Um, the reason might be the explosiveness of uh, the combination of Grief plus and Dying Malice, as well as uh, playing cards like, uh, again, like Fury and Dying Malice and things like that. It's like, this could be the reason. Still, probably a worse Blue Red Merktide deck, but certainly a, a different option to diversify our. Um, our modern gauntlet. Uh, in the cyber there's uh, Obnix is the Adversary, a card that uh, I don't really see very often in modern, almost honestly, actually just never seen it in modern before, so that'll be my first time casting this card. Alright, let's go, I'm on the play, no companions to reveal, and uh, this is a keep to me. Hmm. Let's go. Um, because, hmm, little tough choice already. I think I'm going for Polluted Delta and not Malachi Rebirth. I might use Malachi Rebirth for mana. Oh, this could be the mirror match. Not that many decks for Black Cliff Cliff Thoughts is. Bonjour everyone, good morning, good morning. It took Night's Whisper. Okay. Nice, this is a very good draw. Uh, 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 uh um... What if I pitch Terminate to Grief? I think that's fine, yeah. So I'm going to go Grief, Pitch, Terminate. And then I can uh, look at my opponent hand, discard a card. Okay, that's Jund. Hmm. Interesting. So their Red and Six is actually pretty poor since they don't have any fetch land, they don't have any X ones. So I'm just taking the two three drops here. First, it's all against command. And then I'm going to Undying Malice this grief. Grief dies. Comes back with a plus one plus one counter tapped. And then I'll discard a Spyro. They remain with a Ran and Six that they honestly just can't even cast. 
because uh, it goes to four and then just dies to my grief attack. So, yeah. Okay. I'll go for Grooksa here and Maliki Rebirth tapped. Because um, this way. Keep on disrupting the opponent, dealing them 3 damage by discarding a land here. It's a little bit risky if my opponent um, draws removal spells, because now I don't have Undying Malice up. Like a Liliana of the Veil would be very annoying for me. Yeah, if you Undying Malice the Kruxa, they will discard an additional card, but the Kruxa will still die, of course. I mean, still not bad. Okay, I got three cards in hand. My hope is that they don't go green. They don't go like Lilian of the Veil. That that would be very bad for me. Speaking of which, I heard rumors that are gonna reprint Lilian of the Veil. Uh, yeah, Ryan and Six actually. Yeah, pretty. I regret the choice of. Link Crooks are there though. Ooh, that's not bad. One is on eleven. I think I'm attacking them here. I'll leave them with I'll leave them with um with Brandon Six. The grief has menace. I'll just go Fable and pass. The point is already on seven. The grief four three menace on turn two could have been a bit couldn't could have even been on turn one. What do I prefer between a Belcher and Calibre Blast? No preference. But they have one card. They have two cards in it. I know none of them. I have to hope it's not uh, like Terminate or Lightning Bolts. Wasn't there a print of a pop? -up? I don't know. I just woke up this morning and a group of my friends said said that <laughs> I should not believe them, right? Okay, they go Tarmogoyf and pick up Ren. Sweet. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just got discarding both of these cards. Whoa, Fury. This way, any land could have cast me Kruxa. I mean, honestly, I can't still cast Kruxa if I want. Yeah, I think I'm doing that. So I'll go Fury. Each Fury. Hello, Fury. How's it going? I'll deal one and three. Now, I can attack with both. Face, of course. My opponent wants to block the Goblin Shaman. They will trade because the Starmogoyf has 3 damage on it. They can't block the Grief because it's menace. And then I escape Kroxa with the treasure from the Goblin. Pretty good. Alright, and they concede. Pioneer will go bananas if Liliana gets printed there. You think so? Yeah. Blue Eye Control would definitely take a hit. Alright, so I'm playing against Jund. Hmm. Hmm. So, I think Terminate is simply just straight up worse than Push. So I'm making that switch. What else? I think Dothi Void Walker just too bad against removal. Dying to removal. I really believe in dying to removal. I think a license search is a good card. And maybe I can even fit one Turak. Hmm. I can cut an Undying Malice for another Turak. I don't think of Nixlix the Adversary is good against the deck with Tarmogoyf.
I think Wizards is pushing very much Rakdos for years now. It doesn't surprise me if they print Liliano de Vale. Why do I use a license hers? It's good against uh, Rana 6 Tarmogoyf. Okay, that's a jump triumph. Ooh, Night's Whisper. I love Night's Whisper. I love it so much. This nice and clean two for one magic. Alright, I guess Fona's gonna take my two for one. Mobs of the Moon is terrible. Terrible magic card in this matchup. They have removal spells that are red. Only bring Mobs of the Moon against Amulet Titan. Maybe I can see myself bringing in other matchups. I mean, of course, Tron, things like that. But I don't think I would bring it in against Four Color, for example. When it keeps on Todd sees in my Nice Whisper. <laughs> sure. Whoa, Liliana's great. Is Omnixus versus Burn? Kuma versus Burn. Oh, because it makes the life gain? Sure, I didn't, honestly didn't think about that. I thought Omnixus was only against control. Yeah, I guess he gained life. It's too sweet. Yeah, it could be against Burn as well. <laughs> Funny. Probably too bad, but... There it is. Speaking of the actual factual devil. Look at her. Yeah, you minus two first and then you gain life. They maybe have to burn the opening list instead of you. Not the worst. Ooh. Do I want to go Fury, pitch Spyro, and then Malice, kill Liliana? Probably too bad. I'm just going for the Spyro. This card, what? Fury and Undang Malice? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> a nice little lands refill. A classic Spyro play. You discard two spells, draw two lands, you got some elementals, you don't have anything left. Uh, I think this card Fury makes sense there. I mean, I could our cast it her, but. Our cast it, but it's five mana. Brandon ticks. Okay. They can ping. Okay, they don't ping. They give back a land sword. I kept the fatal push because I expected a Tarmogoyf here. Push Swamp, you wanted to discard? Wow, crazy. So you want to discard the other two cards I discarded. Sweet. That's why Magic is a great game. Everyone has different opinion. I guess that's life in general, isn't it? You missed me playing Blue White Delver last night. It's gonna go on Channel Fireball uh, today, I think. I, I don't think it's a good deck. It's a fine deck, but it's no, no better than... Um, no better than Blue-Red, for sure. Two cards in end. <laughs> they fetch main phase one. I respect it. And then what thoughts is? Fatal push. Okay. Draw. Where do I go here? On Ren, I think? Nah, probably Liliana. Yeah. I already played this version of this Rakdos. I did. Actually, it was a 5-0 trophy. Yeah, it's my second time with this deck. Pretty funny that first match is uh, <laughs> this one. Hey, they played our Tarmogoyf. Which, I, I guess, they didn't, they didn't play Tarmogoyf last turn, because, I don't know, they played around my Fatal Push. Pretty cool. I think they clearly had Tarmogoyf in hand last turn. I don't know. That's my opinion, at least. By the way, they played. Okay, I am certainly playing... Okay, they don't take up Liliana. Oh, they must have a removal spell in hand, then. Let's push the Tarmogoyf. 
Raw and none. Like, yeah, the, the, all the black leaf cliffs in the deck have been drawn. All right, let's attack Liliana of the Veil again and pass. We should have a Fury in hand. What's that? Cycle? Second or oh, the TS Charm. Okay. The Exile? Wow. <laughs> or just Charm revealing two more. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, flip, flip two more opponent. You can't actually. I had one. I know. You understand how much you miss a person or a card the moment when you lose it, and that's the same thing for my fury here. I sacrifice a creature. Wow, my elemental for three mana. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why did you do the other ability there? I know. I don't know, and I don't worry about it. I have my Spyro tokens end of turn. Hello, Ishan Blair. How am I? I'm great. I'm great. Today, soon, uh, my new podcast episode is gonna. Sorry, our new podcast episode is gonna drop. I'm excited for that. We have an intro sound, we have a proper... No, where did you find this? Why did you... Where, where did you... We have a proper music, we have a proper logo, we have a thanks, good volume, so it's pretty exciting. Discard a card. Alright. All right, can I draw a non-land permanent? Non-land permanent for Mangu? Boom. Thoughtsies. I've seen better non-land permanents, let me tell you. I think I'll attack Liliana, kill her. Thoughts is my opponent. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. You don't want proper stuff? Okay, okay, I respect it. Thought sees what you got. Hopefully it's a spell. Nice. Well, they have Nurturing Peatland plus Random Ticks. So they got their value going. I can't die to a six emblem for sure. No, vabbè, they played Blood Crypt instead of Peatland. What? <laughs> Alright, can I draw a card that is not a land, please? Ooh, Ragaban. Alright, let's dash this. Hmm. Let's attack with this, yeah, face. And with this two, random ticks. Okay. Okay. Don't feel like I'm winning this one, unfortunately. I really wish I played more Knight's Whisper. I mean, I guess it's a matchup dependent thing. But I don't know, it's just the card I don't want to draw every single draw. Liliana Deville. Guess who's back? Back. And if I, if I were, if they were printed the end of it, I really hope they print it with the same picture. Because this picture is very nice. By Steve Argyles. Argyles? I don't know. Argyles. Very nice picture. Okay, let's draw Fury or give up. Bene. Bella merda. Okay, let's go to game three. I'll be on the play with Grief and Undying Malice. Can I get Grief and Undying Malice, please?
But I think I don't have anything to cut, I just cut an undying malice. Go! Would you like to play first? Yes, thank you so much. Will we, we take our thoughts? Is? No, 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 I like thoughts. Is. Sorry. Tonto? All right, chat, I have to go. Mm. No, it's okay. I have to go pick up the luggage. It should be arriving soon. I don't know if you remember, I lost my luggage. I guess they lost my luggage a few, a few months ago at this point. And yesterday I got an email that they found it and it's actually coming my home. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that one soon. All right, let's discard Ragavan. They called it, so I should come downstairs soon. But anyway, Thoughts is the Ragavan. Yeah, they found it. No, vabbè. Thoughts is the Ragavan. Ragavan's back on top, and now my hand sucks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I can see what I do. Season Pyromancer is good. Season Pyromancer is very good. Hope they don't have a Thoughtsis for it. Or they don't find Thoughtsis on my deck. That's even worse. Plays opponent, just get a land. Just get a land. I can stick us turn to Liliana, but... Kuroksa you found. You know, it's actually not the worst. Because if they play it, it goes in my graveyard. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it in exile zone. All right, Liliana. And I'll discard a Molecule Rebirth here. Hmm. I exile two cards. On top and draw. Now I can go Spyro. I should have this. No, I should not. Never mind. It's fine. Let's go Spyro, make a token. Wish I drew a spell there. Now, I could technically attack Liliana in practice. I'd rather leave the unlicensed hers back to block the Ragavan as a 4 4. È arrivato a... Um... Ok. They weren't very clear whether they were downstairs or they were incoming, so that's why I recalled. Anyway, they go Fury Peach Bolt. Fine. Since I don't have cards anymore in my graveyard, I don't mind uh, exiling my, my own cards with the Rs. Oh yeah, they're killing these stuff, so I'm crewing the Rs. They pitched the a Bolt as well, so... Mm-hmm. Oh, they can Liliana minus. That's all right. That's all right, though. Obviously, it's risky because that's a Ragavan incoming, but um, I have answers for it. Again, it really depends what this Ragavan hits. If it hits a good card, then it's annoying. Spectral Hazard, okay. Well, I think we dodged it. I think we successfully dodged the Ragavan. The Ragavan Roulette. 
They have two cards, one of which is an overgrown tomb. They have one card in hand unknown. Blood Moon. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do here? I think I want to dash Ragavan on the Liliana of the Veil, vale, and then just bolt the Ragavan here. And then the Blood Moon will be good. Yeah, no reason to hold this bolt, because they, if I bolt now, they can have another Ragavan dashed. That deck doesn't play counter, doesn't play Undying Malice. So, yeah, let's just bolt now, and that will be perfect. And again, this is why push and bolts are better in, in normal matchups and not against Merc Tide. Terminate costing 2 mana is obviously a lot. Alright, they go Wooded Foothills, they have one mystery card in hand. Wooded Foothills can get them a forest, so... They don't, though. No, babe, why did you get forest? That's so greedy not to get forest there. Alright, opponent. You're not gonna love this. We don't play Ragavan because it's di Dice to Ren. So we'll just be dashing. They still have a treasure, so they can technically cast one spell, but... I'm feeling good now. I could have dashed and played Blood Moon. Sure. I missed two points. I missed two points of damage on the face. No, actually, I couldn't have done it. Does this come into play tapped if I play it first? Uh, okay. Mm, 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 mm. I can play this untapped and make two tokens, but I think I'd rather. I'd rather dash. Actually, yeah, the Malik Rebirth is so nice to have in hand, simply because if they remove a spell from my Ragavan, then I, I can just save it. Ooh, Thoughtseize. Do I want to cast it? Sure, why not? Uh, you know what? You can go. I don't want to go to 6 life. Ring goes to 6. Draw. I think here I want to make two tokens with Spyro because Ren on seven. I mean, it's not dangerous now, but I'd rather just have two tokens with Spyro. Good morning. Luxon, I'm playing your paper deck, real gold player. That's sweet. Yeah, this paper deck isn't, isn't a bad one. Make two tokens of Spyro. I remove this end combat step because yesterday I used the desert, so I needed the end combat step. All right, two tokens. Draw. Undying Malice. So the Ragavan goes face, and the tokens go on Rainier. They have three cards in hand, they can't cast most of their cards. Hey, I pass here. Rank can go to four here, pinging a token, and then I can, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I was actually supposed to hit pay it. It ran with the Ragavan? Maybe. Nah, I kinda just wanna hit face with a Ragavan, honestly. Yeah, I just wanna hit face with a Ragavan. Liliana of the Veil. Vale. You know that this card is actually kinda bad here. Okay, so we hit Liliana of the Veil vale off of our Ragavan and pass the turn. Ooh, Luxon, thank you for the sub.
Okay. When I got that random six and two counters. And they even have that Zeatoris proving ground over there, so I think I'm actually attacking Ren with my Ragaban this time. And pass. I don't wanna tick up Liliana simply because my opponent has six cards in hand are not casting anything. Wow, they drew basic swamp. Okay. We might have a game now. We might have a game now. They have their Fatal Push up. I don't know, but I guess like if they wanted to use the treasure, they already had it before. Yeah, whatever they're gonna use, I think I'm gonna save it with my like a rebirth. Exalted top. Wow. They must have misclicked. They exiled the top three cards in my turn. They even found the bolt? That's so lucky. Alright. Let's save our Ragavan. Hmm. I should have lost two life. Maybe that was a mistake then. Do I want to couple Liliana? I still don't. Ragavan doesn't come back to hand. Wow, I actually did a notice rule. So if you dash your Ragavan and then you blink it uh, with Undying Malice or Marlika Rebirth, it's a new object. That's cool. Wait, is this bugged? They played a fatal push from the exile zone. Is this bug? Is my opponent exploiting a bug here? Yes, they are. Should I undying malice this? No, I have another Ragavan. That it's safer in my hand, dashing it. No, I don't think so. Exalt the top three cards until your oh until your next end step. Oh, all right then, it's no bug. There was a bug at some point with with Magic Arena. What was it? Do you guys remember? Remember there was a bug, and I thought it was that one, but apparently I was wrong. Uh, I don't want to discard the swamp here. I'll just hold it all again. Maybe I could have already come to the Emblem of the Leon the Veil, but I also don't want to discard my hand here. On Arena would work like Flood of the Stage. Oh, okay, so that was the difference. Sorry, opponent. I need to play a 2 mana. 2 1. I think I'm actually playing a push on this one. I want to keep Liliana for uh, something bigger. Even dashing with Ragavan, I'm not really finding uh, anything very good here. Let's see. Nothing. Okay, sure. I'll play this Fury now. And pass. 5 mana 3 3 double strike. Is that good enough? I don't think I would have won this game if it wasn't for Blood Moon, though. I don't know. I feel like I have, um... Okay, is that a Fury? That's a Fury. It's pretty Pogs, because I go on Dying Malice and kill their Fury. But that's pretty good. So opponent casts Fury... <laughs> so opponent casts Fury... We go for Undying Malice, and we're gonna save the Fury. Yeah, so... And this also comes back with a plus one plus one counter, which is a big deal. Save Fury and kill their Fury. 
<laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I basically like, I don't know, prevented and redirect the damage. Like, ricochet you up. Okay, took a while, but we got the first match. Took a while, but we got our first match. We also got our luggage back, so that's a good combination. Uno reverse, exactly. Uno reverse, that's what we take. That's what we did. Yeah, that's funny, actually. Uno reverse. <laughs> Uno reverse your fury trigger. What do I think about modern dredge? It's bad, but you managed to win a PTQ. Sure, then then it's great. It's one of the very few decks that actually went to zero four with on Magic Online League. Did someone say Fury? Yes, yes, plenty of people said Fury. Fury. Round number two against the Kanga Gate on the play. And is medium, which is exactly what this deck does. But you know, a consistently medium deck can be good sometimes. You know progressive MTG? I was actually about to say that, but but I didn't. You would have waited until Malice was in the stack to screenshot. It was just way too much effort. Also, I love to take screenshots sometimes where actually the, 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 the viewer have to do something. Where the viewer has to like understand the situations of what's this? Have I try them? Is them is my opponent playing a sign of Draco deck? Are they going now? How would what's that? Temple Guarded? No, it's not Temple Guarded. What's that? Dothy Void Walker. Every time I see a Dothy Void Walker, a card is so medium. I don't know. I mean, I'm playing it now. I hope it's better than medium. Uh, I'm gonna play my uh, Spyro. What about this card? For sure, it's Blood Crypt. I don't want to... Classic, like, flood to get a token. Uh, I think I'll take Undying Malice away. Yeah. I don't mind thoughts is here. Alright, basically the same. Eric, you really dislike thoughts is. What's up with that? Thoughts is just one of the best magic card. I'll discard it. <laughs> okay, got this right. Is that Table of the Mirror Breaker? Prismatic Ending? Okay, sure. I'll leave with that. Draw. Hmm. I was going to play Thoughts is, but I drew another Spyro, so I guess I'm playing that. Discarding the, 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 the same two cards that I drew earlier. I can pass. Not much going on here. Man's fine. Nothing special. I maybe could have got rid of K command. I don't know. Lingering sauce. Well, that's a card you don't often see. The Bogbone looks juicy, does it? I guess. I guess it does. Good morning, the broker. Talk with my people. And then I'll play a uh, Luna Rouge. Look juicier before the basic swamp. I agree. I agree. Stay juicy now, right? 
I think still juicy enough. Yeah. Still pretty juicy. They go Arid Mesa, aka Mountain. Flashback Spirit. And then with their three mountains, they will pass the turn. Okay. Wow, look at that nice swarm. <laughs> Swipe Thought Seas. What you got? Uh, Dark Confident. You can actually cast this card, so I'm discarding it. Then I'll attack you. And then I'll play Fable. I don't know why I got excited with the Swamp, to be honest. I didn't need it, but that's so sweet. When you draw basic land of the missing color when you're Bloodman. And then we play La Fabola. The Fable of the Mirror Breaker. And pass. How's Crooks in this deck? Pretty bad. But uh, one one all can never hurt, right? One all can never hurt. They pass, I untap. You know my hand is just way too good. I don't want to discard anything. I'm keeping it all here. I'm a keeper. I wanna just cast Fury. So White Fable over K command? Hmm. You know, Chad, I actually wasn't really thinking. I just clicked the, the buttons, and Fable is always sweet to put in the stack. Okay, so we're playing against Mar- After playing against John cards, I'm up against Mardu cards. We are in a tough bracket today, Chad. Uh... Leon seems pretty bad against, uh... Lingering sauce. Ma. I don't know. I think I can never go too wrong uh, taking out the Doty Boy Walkers in every matchup. Couple of push, they have Dark Confident, that's a card that needs to die. Maybe Izuku could have been fine. Okay, this is a Wallander. I'm a big fan of keeping Wallanders on the draw in the mid-range matchups. Going and Thoughts ease you, and so on and so forth. Yeah, Blood Moon just keeps on winning alone, to be honest. All right, you keep seven. Sorry, you keep six. Indeed, thoughts is me. Fable seems like an old stellar in every format. It is not. It is not an old stellar in modern. It's only played in this deck and in teamer creativity. He discarded my thoughts is okay. And pass. Hopefully it's not Dark Confident, because that one is going to just put me into the tomb. Like, if they play Dark Confident, the game over. Alright, thankfully it's not. It's just a Sanctifying back, don't you worry. Rock. Blend. Boom, boom. When you draw four cyber cards, in theory, you should win, right? That's okay. I mean, obviously, I took the risk by keeping one lander. What do you think of all the different colors creativity decks? I, th I think Timur is the best. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's okay. If the opponent doesn't put any pressure on us, we can just wait until we draw... Hmm... 
You know, I'm going to grief my opponent, actually, here. Because they have Sanctifier, so even if I find, like, an uh, Undying Evil or things like that, it doesn't work. You have to take Liliana here, right? Yeah. No, they're confident. Unfortunately, no person ever in the world has defeated our confident. When they're confident in taps, you lose the game. Sorry, target player loses the game. I guess I can just try and survive. I don't know. This is a card I should reprint, not Lilian of the Veil. I mean, Lilian of the Veil, sure, but reprinting Dark Confident could be sweet. Like, this is such a great card. This is such a great card. Okay, right, 10. Draw. Ooh. Hmm. You know, this is not like the worst. I certainly have to kill the confidant. <laughs> Zaza and Velto, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. Mm. I could have waited one more turn with a Stoneforge Mystic. Maybe that was better. Maybe that was better. Yeah, that was better for sure. I was like, I can't let him untap with confidence. I'm going to lose the game. Their confident was a promo card. Yep, yeah. I attended the tournament where confident was the promo card, but I only made top eight, so no promo card for Kapangu. No promo card for Kapangu. Keep on, or keep on grinding here. I mean, it's turn six, and I landed my fable. Let's see, if my opponent has a land, they can go equip the Stone Forge. And then that. Do you have any answers for the Sanctifier? Hmm, <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I guess I'll license her as an answer to the Sanctifier. Only, I only need to draw a creature to crew it with. That doesn't work. Hmm. You know, it's actually a lot of damage. I have seven, I have seven damage, but that's not enough, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it's this card, uh, this and that. Creatures, nice. This qualifies as a creature, indeed. Even got Malachi Rebirth, which, if I'm not mistaken, it does literally nothing. So here, what I do is I simply play this as a land and pass. And now I got a 5-5 Hurst to block the Sanctifier equipped by the sword. You know what? I might actually win this game. 
Ooh, Hive of Die Tyrant. That has Menace. And soon I'm gonna be able to Fibble the Mirror Breaker, Copy Spyro. Mm-hmm. Do they not see the fact that they can't go hers? Maybe. Maybe they don't. Uh, I think they do. Alright then. And it was out of the land there. Draw, this becomes the thing. Ooh, spike. Does this do anything? No, it doesn't. Let my land. And pass. I have to hope my opponent doesn't draw an answer for the hers. If they don't, I'm feeling good here. Opponent, don't draw an answer for the hers. Please. Oh, they drew a land. They immediately played too. Love it. Alright, so let's exile card from my graveyard. Again, it doesn't matter my graveyard. And then on top, this is active now, the reflection. Hm. I'll play Spiral first, or do I play the land? Mm, I think I'll play Spiral first and make a token. Okay, that's a grief. I love to cast grief with the reflection up. That's a nice combo. Because every turn I'm able to discard a card in their draw step. So they they can't have sorceries anymore. Of course they can draw an instant and cast it. I just realized one important thing though. My opponent draws a land, I die to the high plus sword. So I think I should just discard this grief and give up the plan. <laughs> hmm. Terrible hand, but that's okay, I can pitch it to the to the new Spyro. I'll do it now since well, I don't really have anything going on. Great blocks. That's true. I thought this was protection from red and black. It's protection from red and blue. So yeah, that was a mistake. Anyway, let's discard uh, these two cards. To draw some new ones. Hopefully it's some answers to the hive. It is, it is. It's the lightning bolt. Okay, that's not bad. Locking them out again with the grief. If they drew a land, I, th I thought I lost because I thought this was protection from red and black. That's why I didn't. Plus, it's not locking them out of the game. They can still draw an instant and kill my card. Um, anyway. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't really have that many plays available to me. I don't even know if I want to play this land. Probably not. So I'll just uh, go into a tap with a bunch of people here, just to deal them some damage. Just to my opponent some damage. Is this risky? I don't think it's risky. I think it's enough people. If these two are dying. Yeah, maybe they fire off this so I can bolt it. Yeah, I think it's a good attack. Aren't they dead? They have one card in hand. Okay, they take three. They have one card in hand. They get a seven, and uh, I pass here. You go Vanishing Verse on my Reflection. Uh, yeah, can't do anything about it. 
What do I do to do invite and burst in their end of turn? Okay, they fetch down to six. Would they not attack with the real shamans? Uh. Okay, weird that they don't uh, they keep the hive and attack. They had lethal. But I guess they also played around the removal spells just like I did. Dotty Void Walker. Okay, that doesn't block. So my opponent only has two blocker now. So they will indeed die to my attack now because they have no cards in hand. All right, good game. I guess I don't need to play this Fury. Let's just attack and so the block block. Yep. Block block. Take five. I guess I don't need to. Block, block, take three, yep. All right, good game. A license hers made me win this game, pretty cool. Turn to Sanctifier and Vec, the whole game against the Rakdos deck. Did not matter. And then good old Bolt in the face. Yes. The combination of Fable and Pyromancer is quite good. Sometimes people just play four of ones and zero of the other. This deck list is playing a mix of them. And mixing thing is nice. Mixing things is a proper, sometimes it's a proper thing to do. Let's say you like pineapple, you like pizza, you mix the two and you get, no, that's, that's a bad example. You know, if you mix something that don't have anything to do in common, it might actually, it might still be terrible. But if you mix two things that have something good in common, like Pyromancer and Fable, then, um, then you get a good, you got a good thing. El Tranco. Uh, this is a one lander, but I kept it before. Hmm. Wonder if I should. Uh, keep this end. I wonder if I should keep this hand. I think I'm keeping it. I feel like this is a deck that can keep one lander. You have so many free cards. You have eight free cards. Next turn I can just go Ragavan turn, uh, sorry, Grief turn one plus Ragavan. Plus having cards in hand in this deck is great because of the... Because I can just draw lands as well. All right, let's go turn one Grief. What do I pitch? Uh, probably K Command. I keep Terminate for Merc Tide, and the uh, Totty Woodwalker is a threat. That could be Living End, too.
six cards in their hand. It's a lot of removal spells they have, wow. Uh, okay then. I'll just take what? Ledger Shredder or Consider? I guess Consider. No, Shredder. Yeah, you can Consider. If you like. I'll play Ragaban and pass. Bold smart. Okay, grief again. I want to go Dothi with Walker with the Swamp here. I think so. Just trading card for card. No big deals. I'll pass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We drew the card we consider. Two cards in it, one of which is a lightning bolt. Drop. Alright. Let's play the Fable here. I'll take three damage because I might draw a Spyro and need double red. So we went one, two, three with a grief backup, so that's that's pretty good. I'm Get curve on our side. I'm gonna hold this grave to our cast it, of course. Ooh. Okay, consider. They're gonna top with three new cards. Should they use Anoi Heat? So I know the lining bolt there. Okay, the Dasha Ragaban. What do they find? Dothi Void Walker, okay. Mojono Giacomo. They can't cast this. And they got two cards in it, one of which is a bolt. Okay. Draw. Nice whispers. Play it. Fury Bolt. Not the worst here. I can bolt the the the, the Ragavan dashed. Again, I plan on casting these in this matchup. Or third consider and keep the card on top again. Okay. The Dash Ragavan, I'm gonna bolt it. Taking combat, and I'll bolt this. Let's see if they have a counter spell. Do they have a counter spell? They do. Okay. They hit Blood Moon. All right. I'm still at two life. 
Oh, sorry, they still have two cards in the end with one of them being Lightning Bolt. Draw. Okay, more answers to Ragavan. No lands to cast his grave, but it's not a problem. We'll eventually find lands. No, no, not a, not a worry. Nice. Three cards in their hand, let's see if they drew. Was that Merc Tide? It is. Alright. 8 8. Fury. I'll go terminate and pass. Very much a one for one game for me. Pleasure Shredder, okay. Two cards in it, one of them being bold. I don't mind drawing back to back lands here. It would be nice, actually. They have bolt in hand, I can't go Fury, Malachi Rebirth. This Shredder, after all, is just a 1-3 now. Ay -ay, I forgot. Yeah, you play those cards. It makes sense why people would choose you instead of me. Ay -ay, expressive iteration. Oh. <sighs> Treasure Cruise, anyone? Okay, let's do a card of exile. Exile can the fourth consider. Yep. Attack me four? Only one? You don't play consider? No way. They don't play consider. Crazy. Drop. I cast this grave here, I don't care if they have bolt. It's a two for one. Am I coming to Vegas? I am not. Okay, you bolt the grief. No bolt the grief. Bolt or no bolts? I'm feeling actually not that bad here. I mean, obviously I need to draw land, but if I do that, I got double fury. Hmm. Am I going to Copenhagen? I am not. So certainly don't don't discard spells in the air. What if I discard bolt? Then I can go fury and dynamalis next turn. I think I'm taking bolt. But then they have they trigger double shredder. So it might be a little bit risky. Mm. It's like I'm still taking bolt here. And pass. They play a new shredder. Let's see if they have a spell. They don't. They just have a steam vents. So their their hand is simply spells near here. What do they play spells in there? I don't know. Their choice. I'll uh, play my first Fury. First of the two here. 90% of the time, so this is better spells there, right? No. <laughs> Where did you get that number from? <laughs> you can check my past uh, Merc that video where I spell Snare is Sanctifier in Vec. As well as a spell snaring a ledger shredder. I 
I don't want to evoke the Fury and Link it, because then they loot once and they can find a Volt and that's bad. I mean, obviously, they're, they're bad at their own timing and they're good at their own timing. No one can give you a percentage of when one's better than the other. It's a fine card. I mean, it's Spell Snare. You can play it if you want. I personally wouldn't, but... Can't hurt. Because it's hurting my opponent a little bit. This is very strange to me that they didn't cast a Consider earlier. They would have triggered the Shredder. Just get rid of this, and so on and so forth. Huh. <laughs> Stay back. Okay, look at these powerful elementals here. Great to blink on turn... Great to evoke on turn 1. Great to hard cast on turn 10. Okay, very cool. Now... Uh, I license hers in for sure. A blood moon out for sure. Uh, push. Key command is fine to kill the hers. Please don't hate me, but can you take out Dothy Void Walker again? I so, so, so dislike this card. You play it, they kill it. That's just not a modern, a modern card. You want to eat a Zugu? They don't play Chancellor, I think. I don't know. Itazugu. I don't think it's very good here. Okay, good end. Let's go. Good end. Let's go. Woodwalker is the dress for a bolt? Not really. They can take like a few hits and then bolt it. Alright, the mulligan. Whereas I never mulligan. This deck really just needs all the, all the cards. Like, Usually you don't keep all the Wallanders in the world. I mean, this is not a Wallander, but um, yeah, I don't think this deck mulligans very well. Okay, they got five cards with the bubble draw. Uh, I am going to play Grief here. Land Grief. What do I pitch? I can pitch a Fatal Push. Uh, Evoke Last. So first, we trigger the Totsi's effect. Okay, nice. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, consider. And then I will fetch, get a Blood Crypt. And what a powerful play this is, honestly. This is really powerful. Very powerful. Blood Crypt, yes. And then we're gonna Undying Malice with this bad boy. So the Grief dies and comes back stronger than before. I think I wanna take Merc Regent. Hmm. I can also take Mishra's Bubble. Hmm. I don't care about the Shredder because I got pushed for it. Merc Tide, maybe I also don't care about that. So I'm just taking the bubble. And go. Uh, 
Taking the bubble here. I can cast the eater of this, but I don't think it's a problem. I cast the bird. Draw. Hmm. Uh, what I can do here is grief, pitch, terminate, and then Malachi rebirth it. It's only bad if they drew a land. Hmm. Maybe I should just push. And then play the top land. Yeah, that's probably best. Blue red, so they play iteration. I mean, if I go for the grief molecular birth plan last turn, opponent loots, and uh, they can easily let, leave themselves with landing end, so that my 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 play doesn't really work. So I think this is better. Opponent is having fun this game. Yeah, they played uh, plenty of spells. Surely it is a fun game. Yeah, okay, so they're left with Murktide and another card in their hand. Uh, I think I have to go hers and I'll start exiling their uh, sorcery instant. But Murktide is a tiny bit smaller. Maybe my opponent doesn't play it now. Blue, red, Ragavandash. Okay. Let's see what I hit. Nice. Man, Ragavan has been so nice against me today. Never really to add any, anything meaningful. Very nice. They can cast Murktide just as a 4-4. Four, four. They definitely do that. Yep. One card in hand. Tormut Crypt. This key for And I go. Hmm, Fury. Okay. Uh, simply... Earth, there are two cards. And pass. I want to bolt the Ragavan. I don't care about the Merc right now. Right, he's a crew, but fear master. Yeah, today Ragavan, yeah, it was, it was very nice. Very nice. It was. Okay, let's hope they didn't draw spell pierce. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna bolt it. I know that uh, something weird can happen, like I bolt them, I like play a car, crew attack, kill. But I think I'm still in a great shape. No, no need to, no need to play it. Like terminate. Okay, I got one card. On top. Hmm. I'll uh, play this. Terminate. And I'll uh, exile your graveyards immediately. And I pass. I have one card in end. Two cards now. Top land. No Ragavan, please. Nice. Drop. Brief. Okay, so this is a six for now. So I'm going to be waiting to grow it a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna target myself with a hearse. I don't care about my graveyard, I only care about um the 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 hearse grow to a ten ten so I can one shot them. Still cannot one shot them because it's only an eight eight. Draw. K okay, command. All right. Okay, so this one should let me kill them. So let's go. Cool against command. 
this card a card deal two damage. Actually, do I want to go grief first? Yeah, right? I want to go grief first. So let's go grief first. Evoke last. I discard a card and then I activate hers. So we put the evoke trigger on the stack last. With thoughts is first. Okay, looks like they're bolting the grief. Uh, ability on the stack. I want to do them two damage and discard a card. So that when I crew the hearse, they have no cards in hand. My fear here is uh, Dress Down, because Dress Down kills unlicensed hearse. Okay, they discard a card. That was a land. Okay. Now they have no cards in hand. I can safely just crew the hearse and kill my opponent. Oh, all right, good game. 3 0. 3 0. Again, I've played this deck two times. This is the second time I've played this deck, and so far I have never lost. 5 0 the first time, 3 0 the second time. Pretty impressive. GG. Okay, I'll take a bathroom break. Be back for match number four. Don't go in. Nice. And now they're going at the beach, and I'll meet them after, after. I still think that Blue Red Murktide is favorite in this matchup, though. I don't know, iteration is just too good to overcome. Round number four. Let's see if we can get that trophy. Opponent has a companion, I think. What matchup is good for Abnixilis? I don't know. Alright. Got lands and spells, Kent Mulligan. Uh, what do I play turn one? Is it a Ragaban? Turn one, Ragaban, your turn. Buongiorno, Tanko. Good games, good games before. Yep, for sure. Good games. Den of the Bugbear. And do you have a removal spell from my Ragaban? No, you don't. You don't, let me tell you. If you did, you would have played it in your turn. I don't know, actually. But I got my Malika Rebirth to save Ragaban here. No, vabbè. Come on! Who even plays Spike Field Hazard? Me, have it in my hand. Alright. This card exiles the Ragaban, so the Malika Rebirth doesn't kill it. You have a bee in it. Let's start sees you. Not a bad end. Uh, which land do I play here? I think it's Malachi Rebirth. And Dying Evil is worse than Dying Malice. Because if the creature already is a counter on, it can get back. Good morning, Daisy. Nice. I'll go all the way to 12 to play my Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Not sure how much I like all these all these lands here. I don't know. The 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 last time I played this deck, I had none of these lands. I just had lands, and I had a Nine Malice, Feign Death, cards like that. Whereas this list is instead playing Malachi Rebirth, I can like all of this. 
You have other cards that put counters. No, but you know, the four, if you draw like two Undying, Undying Malice, the second one doesn't work. That's a big deal. And then Gibble only like puts into play untapped. That's that's very little, very little value. Just play one. Just play one, Pepengo. What's gonna happen? Okay, they can go Spyro here. What do you discard? Yeah, they're good with Spyro for sure. Spike and Blood Crypt. Okay, so you got Fury and three Mystery card in your hand. Draw. Okay, let's discard Malachi Rebirth. Yes, Malachi Rebirth and uh, Terminate. No, actually, Spike and Terminate. Spike and Bolt, maybe? No, I Spike. Because this way I can draw either Fury, Grief. Hmm. I should Spike and Terminate, same. Okay, Spyro I drew. Mm. Okay, I can attack with a goblin. Make a treasure. And then play Spyro, discard uh, Bolt and Swamp. Would I play this deck over Murktide? I wouldn't. Can I play Shadow? I haven't played Shadow in a while. Yeah, I could play Shadow. I mean, if only it did well in any tournament, but yeah, I could play Shadow. I'll play Spyro here. Again, I discard Bolt and Swamp. I want to keep the Malachi Rebirth. I think my opponent can easily Fury my Spyro soon here. Okay, do I want to play Malachi Rebirth now? I think so. They can't really play Fury next turn. And I have this Knight's Whisper that I really want to cast next turn. Hello, DR. Darcy? That that? Okay, sweet. You play Daniel the Bugbear and Darcy. I flip my Fable. They have the Fury, which is very scary. I really hope I can draw Thoughtseize. I drew Black Cliff Cliff, which is really bad. Like, they're very bad. Uh, let's, let's go to 10. By All by yourself. I went from 20 to 10. All by myself. And every time, every time I drew Dothy Void Walker, I ask myself, what the F does this card do in my modern deck? Porca merda quanto fa cagare. Uh, I think I leave the elemental back here. The question is, do I want to keep up Bolt or do I play Dotty? Yeah, I guess I play this. Thank God there is a sideboard soon. Go. I mean, Fury, Fury kills this too, like, sure, you know, what can I do? I would kill these other two, so it has still been good. What would you put in place of Dothy? I don't know. I don't know. Just, just lands. Anything. Welcome, everyone. To a new Young PZ, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you for the support. Oh, my opponent has two cards in hand. I draw. Dang Malice, that's okay. Uh, allora. Let's do this. Let's play K Command, return a creature. Return a creature, deal two damage. Return Dothy Voidwalker, deal 2 damage. Yeah. Then I play Lightning Bolt. Uh, 
and then attack for two. You have your Den of the Bugbeard. That can actually be annoying. Maybe I wasn't supposed to attack. Yeah, maybe I wasn't supposed to attack. Hello, Tashi. Yeah, this was a bad attack. Shouldn't have attacked. They're fetching though, so maybe they don't. Fire off the den. Also don't understand why do they play Blood Crypt? They play two Blood Crypt. One main, one, one graveyard, one Spyro you play, okay. You discard a card, what is it? What is it? Do I have a pet deck? Yeah, Vivian Combo. Vivian Combo is the best deck in modern, but, appar but apparently only I believe in that. What? They didn't bolt my Spyro? Oh, Young PZ, I appreciate the support. Why does the list run Dying Malice over and Dying Evil? Well, what's up with that question today? Why two people ask this? I don't know, one card is better than the other. <laughs> Lur Merc that used to be my pet deck. Yeah, it, it was. Grief! Then the die. Grief isn't, isn't bad here. Uh, do I just go Grief? I'll go Grief. Lur Merc that was my pet deck before Lur's ban. With Lur's ban, it's just mainstream, you know? I can't be a mainstream play magic player. No, nobody likes those. Would there be updated Viva Guide on CFP? I think there is already. You don't think it's updated? Someone made flesh and blood online? Like, uh, like a cockatrice, basically? You flame slash my grief. Mmm, that's okay, right? Yeah. It's more like MTGO. Oh, so you actually have to pay money? Just wanted to be sure. Yeah, remember. I mean, uh... I always like to do the plug of CFB because I'm so proud of the... of the work that we do over there. You go to Channel Fireball, you go to Modern, and then here, you have every single deck and cyber guide of every popular deck in the format updated. Like, very updated. So you click on Vivian Combo, and my guide is updated to 18 of July. And you'll have all the, the things. So, yeah. You Merc Tied. And it's updated on the 11th of June. Yeah. Maybe that one can need some help. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Undying Malice. Actually, here, where are the, where are the uh, Undying Evil fan? Here would be better, Undying Evil. Undying Evil would be better here. Because it would be a 2 2 untapped. 3 3 untapped isn't the worst. Dotty Walker once again found its perfect job in just being pitched to Season Pyromancer. Do I make the Tron one too? Yeah, yeah. You can check it out. It's all the all the decklists and cyber guide over there. Okay, you just chose to go for Sokenzen over the Den of the Bugbear. Interesting. Taking a lot of damage here. A trade with Elemental, I'll go to six. Bro. No, God, so I drew another one with no keys. Am I dead on board? Nah. Actually, this Dodgy Void Walker will once again do its perfect job of being discarded to Spyro. Imagine if I was playing a real card. Alright, pass.
I got a 3-3 Spyro Doom. So anyway, imagine if I drew Undangible now and I had a plus one plus one counter. I couldn't protect my Spyro to come back. You know, this is why you play four of this. I mean, obviously if I had drew them in the opposite order, it would have been better. Phoenix of the Ash, si va be. Ma da dove cazzo hai presa questa adesso? Ma porca, è la Phoenix of the Ash. Ma non ci credo. You drew Phoenix of the Ash from the actual factual trade binder. Probably not even trade binder, just from the junk rares. Just from the junk rares, Phoenix of the Ash. Fury. Terminate. Attention, chat. Our boy, Dothy Boy Walker. Am I dead on board, though? I think I'm dead on board. I think I'm dead on board. Our, do our boy, Dothy Boy Walker, was almost going to save us because of the exile of this. You hate losing two cards no one should be playing? No, don't say that. People always complain that Modern is always the same decks. S somebody plays uh, Phoenix of the Ash and wins with it. That's cool. Yeah, I think. I think I lose now. Yep. Dothy Void Wall. Oh, sorry, Den of the Bugbear gets fired off. And they go to minus one. Good game. Good game. Okay, okay, but now things will get better once they take off my Dutty Void Walker, my Night's Whisper, my Blood Moon. Uh, what do we bring in? Either Zuku? Pushy Pushy? Uh, unlicensed stars always. Maybe not. You know what? I want to try up Nixilis. Let's try up Nixilis. All right, keep. Can my opponent ever beat a 4-4 Fury on turn one? Oh yeah, they play Flame Slash. All right, let's just go Thoughts is then. <laughs> Put my against to five. I'm gonna go to four with my Thoughtsies. Leyland Void. Hey, he might get to three then. I guess they stopped my Undying Malice now. A Ripperoni Undying Malice. Let's go Swamp. Dot Seas. The Seas of the Thoughts. No, opponent has lost connection to the game. Do, 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 do. Viridians, thank you for the seventh month. It's a long time. I appreciate your support. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Opponents joined back. All right, swamp. That's easy. Bolt channeler. Hmm. Blast zone. <laughs> uh, do I just stick? Yeah, I'll take bolt. I just kill the channeler. 
Okay, Adrian, then of the bugbear. Nice raw. Do I go mountain? Yeah. I don't know. The two cards in hand, let's hope they don't do a removal spell. Okay. It's like we ragabun. We hit. Bing! Ding 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 ding! Alright. Yeah, you know, Burn top top four the last challenge, and I think have I never played Burn for the for the channel? Oh, finally you drew Phoenix of the Ash when it's not as good as the previous game. All right, uh, yeah, seventeen. I'll attack only with the elementals. Opponent will never see it coming. Wow, they actually do see it coming. Smart. Smart opponent, smart. They saw it coming. Yeah. I don't know what I've misclicked, but I can now view my dungeons. What have I misclicked? Wow, you have view dungeon information on every game of Magic? No, oh, but really. Lol. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, what you do there? You played Mountain. And you can craft a zone to kill a Ragaban, I guess. You can't wait to see how they implement stickers on MTGO. <laughs> You 100% know that will never do that, right? They didn't even put initiative on MTGO. Unfortunately, I can't save my Ragavan. It's a shame! I'll play Spyro. I'll get rid of the two spells. And pass. Look how many people I got into play. So many things that I have. Name a, me a worse mechanic than dungeon. I'm, I'm sure there's plenty. I'm sure there's plenty. I do. I'm, I am waiting the initiative though. Kind of a, kind of a joke. That it's been like months and I still haven't updated it yet. Alright. I'll uh, just attack it all. Put into Mulligan to 5 and play Layer of the Void. That is definitely a deadly combination. Wish I won uh, game one. <laughs> I know it sounds like a stupid sentence, but I do think that game one could have been won if my deck list was a little bit different. All right, we go to game three. Mm, so my opponent has living um, Lila of the Void in their deck. They want to take out some of Dagmalis. 
some croak says. My problem is that my sideboard is literally mono unplayables. So I can't really decide anything for it, right? I mean, maybe a license hers for the Phoenix. Yeah, I can have like one hearse over a Kroxa. No, I'll put a Kroxa. No, I don't want to take out Kroxa. Maybe on Dying Malice I can take out. You know what? I can't take out Lily on the Veil. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. Yeah. Alright, let's go. When you look at the three drop, it's just such a random collection of cards. Alright. Keep. This is easily the biggest binder deck I've ever played on. No, no, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. But it, it really does feel like a binder deck. Just you just pick out cards that are red and black and you put it in your deck and eventually work out. Alright, my hand is fine. They start with a ley line on a multi No, they keep seven. Okay, their black splash is Thoughtseize. I respect that. What you discard? Omnixilis. Ooh, I drew a Ragaban. Interesting. I kind of want to go for a Thoughtsis though. Yeah. And I'll go with the basic swamp. Thin. Deck thinning over here. Rock this binder. Exactly. Alright, so they have two spike, meaning that my Ragavan is not surviving. Do I still want to take Fury? Because at the end of the day, Fury could be could, could be pro. If I take a spike, do you think they... Okay, I'll take spike. I think they might... There's a chance they might play the other spike soon. Like if I don't draw a land, they just play spike. And then I can... And then I can go on with Ragavan. <laughs> Rack the Spinder. This indeed. Blast Zone. Oh, you draw Ragavan. I, I was the one that I needed to... Okay, don't hit the thoughts is non chipova. Grief, okay. Va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, I'm not gonna play Ragavan now. I'll just play land and say go here. Classic deck thinning, but you actually draw fetch land. Fetch, draw fetch. A classic. I'm gonna just go what? Does land go? I certainly don't wanna play Ragavan into their spike. Uh, I keep the deck thin in here. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep the deck thin in going. Although we all know I'm gonna draw fetch land with my fetch land. No, vabbè, ma come cazzo hai pescato? Ma porca merda! Okay, that is, don't complain, Mango. Don't complain, Mango. Do not complain. Spyromancer, what you discard? Discard Ragavan Spike. Okay, so you kept Fury. I like that gente che c'è porco cazzo. Now, I'll fetch. They don't play a land. Interesting. I'll get a Blood Crypt tapped, and I think I'll go push. Just to play something. I need to keep Terminate for. I don't know. Draw. Spell. Arr, that's a terrible spell. That's a terrible spell, terrible spell, terrible spell, terrible spell, terrible spell. Pass. No, I don't want to lose to that deck. Magic Online, please. Don't make me lose to that deck, please. 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 Their binder looks better than ours. <laughs> attenzione, 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 we had our own Spigomanzo. We had our own Spigomanzo. Thank you so much, Magic Online, for not for giving me Spigomanzo when I needed one. Well, uh, what an amazing draw. Magic Online really listened to me, chat. Magic Online was like this. Said, what did you say, Mangu? You said you wanted to win? All right. Here, Season Pyromancer into Toxic Grief. Thank you. Thank you, Magic Online. Oh, I can bet a mana, Chai. Oh, come on. Go.
I have to take Fury there. I mean, I know that Spiromancer is good and the, whatever. I agree. If, maybe if it works. Like, if they don't draw land, then I agree. Uh, Logan. Let's simply attack with all here. You speak Italian, that's why. Uh, block, block. And I would play Grief. And we take the Season Paramanzo. Man, what an amazing series of draws for me. I'll take Spiromanzo, you can dash me. I'll block. I really need to take this because. This card just makes so that Leyline is also a dead draw in their hand, and so on and so forth. Okay, they drew a land. Phoenix of the Ash. Um, I, have I get a 7 though, it's like, maybe... Alright, that's Dash, Ragaban. Wanna attack with all here? Sure. Sure. What do I hit? That's seven, that's seven damage, you go to five. And I hit... Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful! One mana, one, one, sign me up! Go. Attack? No attack. Okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. The sequence of draws, Spider-Man's thoughts is grief, was indeed lethal. What do I terminate? Doesn't matter, right? No, it actually, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter for me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I am so cute. And fluffy as well. Thank you for the prime sub. Four, zero. Do, 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 do. Wait a second, in order for my opponent to bring in land on the boy, they give up on a wash. Madonna mia, ma che che? 4-0. Gambling? Oh yeah, yeah, let's do the points. Let's do the channel points. Let's do the channel points. Start the prediction? Yeah. Start a prediction. Will Pepengu win? 5-0. Of course he's the best. No, Rakdos Binder sucks. Alright. You got you got one let's say you got thirty seconds, chat. You got thirty seconds to vote. You got thirty seconds to vote. Well can you play instead of well Liliana? I think I should, I should pick up Liliana, right? Because they said they're gonna reprint it, so they probably the price is gonna go up a little bit. So we should just, yeah, just get one, I think. I don't know, it's it's not a big deal, honestly. I think you can easily change like 10 cards from this list and nothing will change. Alright, chat. Have you voted? Have you voted? No Fable of the Mirror Breaker? There are two of them. Okay. I finally have to mulligan my first hand. Mm. 
Mulligan. Keep. All right, all right. This end is amazing. What do I do? I'll put back Fury, right? Or maybe not. Castle, what a hand. What a hand, chat. I think I put back Fury. I think I put back Fury. Go. Is this a bad deck? I am 9-0 with this deck among two leagues. Maybe it's been lucky. Maybe it's actually a good deck. Turn one Pelty Boy. Pelty Boy! Oh my god! One Pelty Boy! Alright chat, I got a spike. I got a spike here. I think I'm playing Spike on Pelty. Oh, I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. <sighs> you want to go Grief? But what if the Pelty boy grows too big? Eh? What if the Pelty go grows too big? I think I'm killing the Pelty boy. I'm afraid. They can go like... I don't know, Burning Tree Emissary 3-3. Three, three. I don't know, I guess if I grief them. Terminate, I have to pitch Terminate to the Grief. Alright, Naya Zoo. Two green. Huh. I'm being a Ryan Green. X Drinker. This has protection from Madonna in me, Madonna do que tudo esta gente. Oh no, no, I bought some Fury chat. I bought some Fury, no! I bought some Fury. Alright, draw. Fury. Pass. Begin combat. What do we have now? Atarkas command? Reveal? What's that? Fable of the Mirror Breaker on top. I'll terminate the X Drinker. Ah, uh, managgia chat. No, Atarkas Command for real? No, dai, no, no. No, vabbè. No, vabbè. No, vabbè. No, vabbè. Uh, pitch this because I go to two life here. What's on top? Fury. Fury's on top. Another. Another shark has come in. Okay.
Thank you, Dotty Void Walker. I will remember you as the worst card in the deck. Subnix is worth it. Maybe better than Fable. Keep. Put Mulligan to 6 this time. They have Mulligan to 5. I think Liliana's better. They Mulligan to 4. Thoughtsies. Pick my castle. And I can bolt Pelty. Mm, I just hold this now. I mean, the Jenny growth only gives plus two, plus two. Go. Go. Wild Nakato. Mm hmm. I'm gonna play Ob, also known as Bob. Hey, do I make a token? Yeah. Bob Nixilus. Go. How's the devil token? Orange? Oh, dry dog board. I didn't expect that. And we dry dog ripples mutagenic growth. Sweet. Should I block? I hope dies. Wish he was a fable of the mirror breaker. Explosives on top. Uh, what's best? Uh, I think I just blocked the dried arbor. I think this is best. They don't block anything and then thoughts is them. Yeah, that might actually be the best. The orb is dying regardless, so. Goodbye, orb. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out with us. Thoughts is you. I'll get a 15. Tarka command mutagenic growth. Okay, I'll take the mutagenic growth. And then I'll play explosives for one and pass. Thank God my point of mind again, Dufour. <laughs> All right. I think the reason to side in Bob maybe is because I can pitch it to both Grief and Fury, but it's obviously like not a good card. 
maybe it's still better than like Fable, just because you can pitch it to both Fury and Grief. That's valuable. I don't know. Atarka Command doesn't give Indestructible, right? Yeah, that's a Boris Charm. Well, they don't attack Goblin Guide. I respect that. Drop. I'm dying Malice. Okay. Pass again. They keep up that uh, Atarica's command. <sighs> keep on passing. Hello, held. They keep on passing. I'm not moving. Alright, that's a fury. I'll go 2-2 two -two so that they need to play a target's command if they want to save uh, the goblin guide. I'm good. This is game two of the trophy match. We're down a game. Let's see if the Glotarchus come in to save their goblin guide. And it looks like they do. I don't think I should attack, so you go. Hope you don't have Lightning Bolt now. If you don't, uh, I'll, I'll win very soon. If not, we keep on, we keep on playing. Because despite my opponent Mulligan before, my draws were pretty medium, medium low. Okay, looks like my Fury is surviving and now I should be, I should be good to win. Ooh, Ooh another AWB. Nice. Back with both. I'll play Ob. The casualty X. Sacrifice the Devil. Thank you. Make a copy. Remember when this play seemed to be broken? Seemed to be breaking the game, Magical Gathering. Does anybody remember that brief period of time? You know, we could suck Fury and play Malice on this, but. No real reason to go under bold, right? My 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 goal here is to win the game. I mean, could be also to take screenshots, but let's just play this safe and win. Yeah, exactly. All right. Go to game three. Now, this is the last game with this deck. Once again, what? Well, I think, again, Ob is better than Fable. And because of the pitch to both Grief and Fury. I think that's enough of a good reason. Let's go, Chad. One game from the trophy.
Vamos. How's the hand? Medium. 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 Medium rare. X drinker. Fatal bush. Fatal bush. I just go Ragavan here and just block with it, or I can go push. Next turn, Ragavan and Dangmalis. Hmm, I think I want to go Ragavan this turn. Just block with it. No, 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 maybe just go push. No, 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 I just go Ragavan. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just go Ragavan. Go Ragavan. Go. One mana two one mythic rares staring at each other. I got six cards. Hopefully they don't go off uh, as big as they did in game one. Monkey versus neck. The fetch land starts, so they can play the. They can play the green green card. Ooh, they simply attack me. All right, I guess I block. What's that? Mutagenic growth. What do you have? I'm green. Or Clown Rampager? Wow. Okay. The level up its only sorcery, yeah? Maybe if I've seen this card in the previous games, I could have thought about it. Resample is your instance. Healthy boy. Alright. Got more one drops. Am I just taking two to get a two for one with explosives? Could be. Ideally, they play a two drop now, so I can push that and then clean with the explosives. Or I guess a one drop also wouldn't hurt. You know what? A two one, a two drop into a one drop with the. I'll take this. Did I just level up? No. What's this? Okay, so you got two green. You have two cards in hand. Any other play? No, opponent, stop! Just stop! One card in hand. Okay. I think I'm going push on uh, this one. Sorry, terminate on this one. Draw. Draw. Should I just go explosives? Yeah, right? Do I level up now? No, I'll wait, because they play Goblin Guide. So I'll wait. I hope they don't have, like, Boris Charm. 
That could be devastating. You have two cards. If none of them is Boar's Charm, we'll untap and have things to do. Spyro is a very good draw. Okay, begin combat. Guess I can correct this. Okay, nice. They didn't force charm. I go to seven. Seven is enough. I wouldn't say a lot, but it's enough. Mariage. You play Pelty Boy. One card in end. Pass. Draw. Monarchy Rebirth. Okay. So I'm going Spyro, discarding Monarchy Rebirth and Undying Malice, probably. Pass. Wild Nakato. Okay, that's a 2 2 now. And they attack me. Hmm. Uh, block. Do I chump block or just block? I think I just chum block. Okay, one card in hand. This should be a land, though. Should be a land, though. Uh, let me go... Push. Attack. Fetch down to six. Play Obnixilis. Sacrifice the token. Make a devil. Drain for two. And it back to eight now. Look at Rob Nixilis, ladies and gentlemen. Look at Rob Nixilis, ladies and gentlemen. Let me let me let me get the trophy. Let me get ready with the trophy. A real size trophy. They tap me. A block. A block. Turu turu tu, turu tu, 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 turu tu, tu, turu. That, Miss Jane Growth? Snakeskin Veil. Alright. Snack. Drop. Spike. A little spike. The grief. A spike. Uh, do I want to say goodbye to my ob? I think so. Goodbye, ob.
tu 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 That's impressive. Granted, my opponent decks today weren't outside of the one blue and Merc died. Every other deck seemed to be a brew. So that helped. That helped. All right, all right. And the grief now will slowly, not slowly, sorry, will quickly kill them. They're actually lethal here. Yeah. Oh. And the fury. Kill them all. GG's, they say, GG. Okay, chat. It's been a... Uh... Illegal blocking. Raptus Binder wins. Let's clap. Let's clap. Let's clap to the Rapdos. Let's pay the bets. And let's judge the people that didn't vote for me. Okay, so 82% says yes, but Penguin is the best. He'll 5-0. 18% says... 18% didn't trust Mango. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting.